Hello everyone and uh, today I also gonna continue to work on uh, this piece while I'm waiting. I would like to welcome all people on the different platforms. I hope you are able to see me, able to hear me good and if there's uh, any uh, difficulties please let me know, okay? Uh, I really do appreciate your uh, feedback and uh, you know of course of course as always if you like it uh, you know those live streams just hit that like button and also subscribe don't forget to subscribe and a bell uh, you are watching me uh, today on different platforms I've got uh, 13 different platforms going at the same time uh, Facebook uh, YouTube Twitch Twitter uh, Instagram, I've got a couple Russian platforms, uh, OK, which is uh, uh, Adnaklasniki and uh, Vkontakte. Uh, of course, the best platforms would be uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook is the best. And Instagram, of course, uh, you know, you can watch me on Instagram. So hopefully you can see me. But anyway, so let me uh, wait on people a little bit and we're going to start. We're going to start. So, so let me explain what I'm uh, working on. I'm still working on uh, this Venetian style, Venus style carving. Uh, I'm not going to show you all uh, uh, the process, how I do that. Uh, that uh, process uh, is only for um, online access. And I know some of you actually, some of you part of my school and I do appreciate those people a lot okay uh, please let me know if you see me all right let me know if you see me let me uh, check my connection and we're gonna start that is good okay uh, also there's a, a chat a uh, live chat please if you let me know that you see me I really appreciate uh, people on Instagram uh, I see you that uh, you joined and uh, welcome 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 uh, Twitter I can see those people watching me on a twitch that is good all right uh, I've got on different platforms uh, I can see people on uh, Facebook thank you very much Sutas uh, he's saying wow amazing work I really appreciate that. So let me let me do some work, and I'm gonna uh, talk a little bit uh, the way I carve uh, my approach. I developed uh, this is a rough uh, idea yet, so that is not the idea, not the end result. The end result gonna be looking more less like this, more finished. Okay. I had a great question yesterday. And the person who asked me, uh, he asked me in uh, Russian language, and I didn't want to answer uh, in Russian language uh, in the live stream, but he asked me, how do I send it? Or how do I, uh, do I even use the sandpaper? And to answer that, no, I'm not. Okay. Uh, so for those people, I can see that you are, uh, at work and you can't uh, watch me for long but uh, I'm not gonna do stream today for a long time I'm gonna do maybe about uh, half an hour or so maybe about half an hour or so uh, uh, so which means uh, if you do have a questions ask me quickly and I'll try to answer you uh, but what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna concentrate um, uh, you know on this section it's not done I've done some of it um, uh, just uh, on a school site it's going to be there all the videos and uh, it looks uh, all right already but uh, there is a lot more there is a, a lot more actually to explain about this well uh, as far as that question about uh, camera holding in your hand and give us uh, an overview of your shop it is impossible. I do have a, a six cameras connected. 
okay and they all uh, set all around uh, my shop and you you can see me pretty much actually right now uh, and just a little bit behind me there's a I mean you can see some uh, uh, station for sharpening I've got multiple uh, pieces for the sharpening uh, but you're not going to be able to see the whole thing well maybe behind you can see there's um, uh, a scroll saw staying right behind me so that is one of the machines and another side there is a uh, band saws and uh, other some equipment and that is not the main shop this is just uh, my carving part of a shop which is uh, I call it like a studio, I would say, where I carve because it's air conditioned. Uh, I can just install my cameras. I can install of all of my cam, uh, I mean, lighting and stuff like this. Uh, but the big machines, uh, it's uh, in a different location. Okay, so there's no air conditioning and there's no cameras. Okay, so that way I can't really show you my shop. Okay, I can show you my work uh, if it's okay, but not the shop. All right. Steven, thank you very much. You are saying your work is amazing and beautiful. I really do appreciate that. Okay. Okay, but let me uh, let me develop uh, this section right here, and I'm gonna get a little closer to you. And uh, what I'm working on it's a Venetian style style of uh, acanthus from Venus, and that's already. Uh, divide it in three main parts. Every account is supposed to have either three divisions or five divisions. Uh, so it's just connected to the Fibonacci number, to Fibonacci sequence. Okay. Uh, Steven is uh, asking me a question. What inspires you to carve uh, the work that you do? Uh, Steven, uh, the answer is actually easy. Okay this work this work it's not just uh in, you know in, for me <laughs> the easy answer would be it's my client you know who pays me money so the inspiration is just a paycheck i guess <laughs> for this type of work but that, that is jo uh, joke of course okay uh, so I, i'm working in a different styles of wood carving i'm working um, uh, in a sculpture style and uh, I do I really love uh, Grillen Gibbons style okay flowers and so on and by the way in this carving uh, which you see right now it's also going to be some foliage okay some flowers also and in this particular case uh, uh, I have to be authentic to Venetian style to Venus 15th and 16th century okay so that is a really, really important, uh, really important for me to stick to that because the client of this work, they required uh, to be authentic, not just the authentic to the period, not authentic only to uh, 15th, 16th century, but to the specific city, okay, specific city to Venus, Venezia. Okay, so that's why I had to study the movements, uh, you know, the uh, acanthus uh, uh, before I do uh, the work. I have to study uh, anatomy, if you wish, anatomy of uh, how it's supposed to be developed. Okay, uh, for example, you know, how long uh, the sections supposed to be, how many divisions am I supposed to have, how it's supposed to be tied together. Uh, the introduction of uh, movements like that, just uh, the pieces going underneath, wrapping on inside. How deep the excavation is supposed to be. I'm talking about uh, how shadows are surrounding that. Okay, so really important. And uh, yesterday's stream, I tried to explain about uh, shadows uh, uh, and a wood carving. If you look at that and you look in overall right now I'm just uh, able to show you only section because my camera is already as high as I could raise it but if you look you know uh, you can see those shadows they serve the purpose as a frame uh, for the fine art okay so the main idea is a uh, carved pieces or carved sections and by the way that is a solid piece it's nothing applied and there's no machine uh, 
there is no machine. But uh, the way I create, you know, just the popping out, I mean, you can see that detail pops out, that detail pops out. You can see that really uh, popping out of the overall picture by creating shadows all around. And those shadows, which is surrounding, uh, you know, uh, those uh, main idea pieces, they create the beautiful, beautiful look, like three-dimensional look, because it just uh, creates dark spots. Don't pay attention to all that, uh, you know, waste I have. Okay. Let me read uh, what, what you're asking. So, well, let me, Stephen, uh, about inspiration. Inspiration, pretty much it's just uh, knowledge, okay? So I have to study knowledge of uh, history, knowledge of development of Acanthus movement, for example, in this case. By the way, online, uh, uh, I'm not sure if you're part of my school or not, online I do have a course or courses, I should say, about acanthus leaves and I started uh, from a most ancient form of acanthus like a Greek acanthus well Corinthian acanthus first and Greek acanthus then Roman acanthus and we're gonna go on and on Moroccan acanthus and uh, uh, European styles of acanthus we're gonna go go on and on and on just to, just to trace the development and one of the courses what I want to teach uh, Byzantine which is uh, uh, Byzantine acanthus leaf you can see this part if you look closely, you know, this part is Venetian style, but it was uh, inspired, or, I mean, you can say Venus people stole it from Byzantine because they developed the movement like that, the curvature, the head of Acanthus with the deep excavation. And you can imagine if it would be just all gold leaf, you know, uh, with the, covered with the gold, inside and out it would look absolutely gorgeous especially with the shadows uh, you know uh, that's uh, Byzantine you know who actually started to do that but this is a pure authentic Venetian style not done yet okay not done yet but uh, uh, also let me answer the question uh, what uh, the person is asking me about the sandpaper uh, you don't see all the questions, by the way, on this platform. Uh, so I do have different platforms. Like I said, I do have a, a platform on uh, uh, Instagram, on the Twitter, everywhere else. And people actually asking me. Okay, uh, on Instagram, wood carving sculpture 52, you are asking me to... Uh, send you that story. I'll try, okay? But also keep an eye. Uh, I'm actually uh, live pretty much um, uh, uh, every day. Now, also another question from you. May I see your carving tools? Uh, it's an Instagram question and uh, it's almost impossible uh, to see my carving tools because uh, I have, um, you know, about half a thousand gouges, chisels, veiners, uh, and uh, they all organized. Uh, if you want to see my old setup, so you can just probably go on my Facebook page, which is uh, uh, Google my last name, Grabovetsky, and I do have a school of wood carving, Grabovetsky School of Wood Carving page, and uh, see the old pictures. Uh, there's uh, going to be uh, some picture like with the rack behind me, okay, with the, all the tools. It was from old shop. So you'll see uh, some of the tools, so if it answers you. But now, uh, I don't have that rack because I really like the idea of having windows around. In this uh, space, I do have windows, uh, you know, on the walls. And, uh, you know, somebody has actually also asked me about what's up with, uh, you know, the greenery, uh, house plants. And it's easy to explain. I'm working in my shop all day long. And the space uh, in, right here, it's not that big. And, uh, I, but I need the oxygen and I need some uh, beautiful uh, source, I mean, uh, to get that oxygen in. And those green plants, they just give them to me. Let me read the more. Okay, Brian asking me, 
do you go over the carving and sand it to smooth it at all out when it's finished okay that is the same question what I had yesterday okay uh, so it's all depends uh, Brian all depends on a job first of all I really don't like to use sandpaper in all okay so it's pretty much out of the gouge okay out of the chisel how we call it so that's the way I love it but uh, some um, clients uh, some customers they request to to do really 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 smooth uh, finish and uh, I mean the, you can see I mean if you if you look close let me show you it's not finished but uh, you can see all the chisel marks all the gouge marks it's not done yet but uh, I'm pretty much leaving um, a lot of times just like you know uh, out of the gouge I don't use sandpaper couple of couple of reasons uh, why I don't like sandpaper uh, the main reason when you're using tool yes you could uh, uh, you could uh, just uh, carve and then sand it but the problem with the sandpaper it leaves abrasive uh, pieces right inside of the fibers of the wood and next time when you're gonna carve it your tool becomes really dull so and that's not good okay so that is uh, one of the reasons why I don't like um, to use a sandpaper All right but there is a uh, I just started to use uh, on a, some of my projects you know instruments like this let me show that to you okay so those are riffles or rasps made specifically specifically for carvers for wood carvers okay so those tools are really excellent tools if you want to do uh, uh, like some smoothing if you wish to do that and uh, I can actually show you uh, an example how you could use it I you know I have to be honest with you I did not use them for a long time I just got them actually this year and uh, you know I, every time when I'm grabbing it I feel guilty because um, I never used them before but anyway you can see the way you could smooth with those uh, rasps it still leaves marks but if you're careful if you're careful and not pushing too much you can actually do a really good job of smoothing but the beautiful thing about those rasps they are not leaving any abrasive inside of the fibers so that's why I like it but see uh, it just kind of hits the high spots which I don't actually have uh, high spots anyway not too many at least okay so you could do it with the rasp and then hit again with the gouge okay so you can do that with the gouge also but it gives me good result I, I, I still don't use it too much because I still can see a, a roughness I don't really like it but in this case on this particular case uh, on this carving I really don't worry about uh, to be a little bit rougher I should say it's gonna be painted it's gonna be painted with authentic uh, authentic uh, paint which was common actually in the 15th century even common now I mean I would say in some uh, European countries it's still common I'm gonna paint that with the uh, chalk paint chalk based paint okay so I really don't worry about uh, if I'm gonna leave some um, tool marks that's why I actually don't even need to use uh, anything pretty much just uh, leave out of the chisel out of the gouge hope it answers your question okay let me check um, Instagram and I can check what people is asking I really do appreciate you people there is a lot of people actually joined on Instagram I really thank you thank you very much there's the people from Albania from Russia from uh, some Arabic countries uh, I can't read Arabic 
right. uh, uh, please, uh, I'm going to remind you, uh, I would really appreciate if you would just join me. Uh, I'm talking about like my page, uh, share it uh, on your story and so on, and comment, comment, and comment. And uh, again, for some reason, my uh, Facebook decided not to notify uh, uh, people for the second day in a row. I don't know what's going on with the Facebook, with the policy, or I, I don't know, maybe it's not policy, maybe it's just the politic. But let me carve something at least, okay? Let me carve something at least before I finish uh, my live stream. Of course, I'm gonna continue to carve, uh, uh, but not live, but for my school after I finish this live stream. But uh, I usually, uh, after three main divisions, okay, there's the three main divisions uh, of Acanthus leaf, uh, one, two, and three. But uh, those three main divisions divided in another three are five. In this case, you can see one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And here is gonna be only three, one, two, and three. But even on inside of those divisions, and it's not uh, applicable to all of the styles of acanthus, uh, but it's applicable to Venus style, okay? To the Venus style. They would just create even more divisions inside and give even more curliness, even more curliness. And that's what I'm gonna do but also really important, uh, especially those parts, not to create long, uh, I mean, I, that would be a big mistake if I would divide it somewhere right there and create long, long division like this. Although, uh, if it would be a French style, that's exactly what they did. They did the long part right there. But uh, Venus people, they didn't. Well, uh, maybe I shouldn't say for all of the Venetian people, but particularly uh, in every city there is a craftsman people of craft and they develop their own style but see it just gives me really good curliness okay really good curliness and I usually like uh, when I'm doing um, those divisions or subdivisions it's actually subdivisions relieve them first okay with the, in this case I'm using uh, number 11 and 5 millimeters Vayner okay. and some uh, of you would ask me why I don't use a V tool or parting tool for this uh, uh, I mean you could use a V tool tool shaped with the letter V but it would not be authentic to the original Venetian style 15th 16th century because it wasn't uh, available yet it wasn't invented yet okay so they used a lot of veiners and the gouges okay but I relieved uh, all of those just uh, kind of made my first initial cut and now I can take probably Gonzalez tool and shape that like that it's one of the approaches, you know, just to use the Gonzalez tool. Or another approach would be if I would take uh, some kind of gouge, which is going to be matching. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to take uh, number five. Okay, and see how long my bevel is on number five? Really long. We're talking about uh, five eighths of an inch, 16 millimeters long. And uh, it uh, gives me ability to slice through the fibers with no problem whatsoever okay just like that okay see i'm just matching whatever the outline i created and i'll just go in of course i have to be careful in some of the spots don't want to damage uh, the piece below but you can see i mean if i can match uh, the profile I can match the profile it gives me that ability to create really sharp and nice crisp edge and it's not only that what I could do 
but for example, um, see, I, I created my line a little longer and that's exactly what I want to emphasize. Create that line longer and I'm going to take uh, probably one millimeter. One millimeter uh, or two millimeters actually will work also number 11. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a couple cuts couple cuts one and two and I'm gonna get a little zipper and pretty much I could do it um, everywhere just to create little longer cuts a little longer cuts but it's not the end yet I still have to blend a little bit those cuts I need to blend it and in this case I'm gonna take uh, again just a number three but the long bevel number three again it's a micro bevel not a micro bevel but the micro tool but you know it has uh, like a quarter inch bevel and I'm gonna blend that in because I want to make sure it looks like this part going underneath and exactly the same on that side okay my apologies, I do have a amber alert. All right. Uh, any other questions, uh, by the way, before I finish uh, my stream? Let me check uh, Instagram. Hello, everyone. I can't uh, read uh, in life all of uh, comments but I really do appreciate especially you know there's a lot of people on Instagram today that is good that is good that is good all right and let me check other questions uh, on the Facebook people could you say something if you see me if you do see me of course for some reason I don't see uh, any feed but anyway so um, so that is the subject of today I'm gonna continue to carve pretty much uh, offline right now but you can see uh, how it develops and of course with a small tool with a small tool I can uh, refine my divisions even to more degree, I mean to finesse it, okay, just to make it even uh, nicer, make it even nicer. Let me see. Uh, yes, uh, okay, I see you people on the Facebook. For some reason, it doesn't pull all the uh, comments, but I see you, you know, and thank you very much for you saying uh, it's a wonderful, amazing work. I really appreciate uh, And uh, Villa asking me, hi, could you please show me a few tools? I mean, the inside sharpening, we kind of sharp, okay. All right, uh, well, uh, I'm not sure if you, uh, if I understand you uh, correctly, but you're asking me about the inner bevel, okay? So inside bevel. A uh, couple days ago, maybe more than a couple days ago, I was explaining about uh, creating a, a bevel on inside, okay? So I'm creating long bevel. Let me show you a different one. This one is probably better. Uh, so this one is a really long bevel. Don't pay attention to that uh, black marker. I just uh, used that, uh, for example, to show you how long bevel I'm creating. But on inside bevel, uh, I also create a micro bevel. But please uh, go on uh, uh, Facebook. Uh, go on the Facebook and I'm sorry. Go on a YouTube and just to check my older uh, streams. And in one of them, I explained actually in depth uh, uh, about. Uh, 
inner bevel, inside bevel, and why I do that and why it's uh, really important. Okay, and why it's really important. Paul, so you saying you motivate me to return to my carving? Great. Thank you very much that uh, my you saying your video fits are highlighted on my name. That's good. That's wonderful. Wonderful. I, I really do appreciate. Uh, and uh, yes, I'm trying to connect uh, as many times as possible. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, be live almost every day, maybe even every day. Uh, last week I was every day. But if you really want to see uh, the full development uh, of my carving, even this piece, even this piece, you really have to be part of uh, my school, schoolofwoodcarving.com, okay? Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, there's uh, over 1,500 videos, over 1,500 videos, okay? Uh, and uh, let me give you the link to it. And you will see actually step by step, step by step development how I do that. Oh, by the way, I, day before yesterday, I got a comment uh, on one of the Russian uh, sites on Adnaklasniki and the person said it's impossible to do it by hand. You know, there's nobody today uh, able to actually without the machines uh, create uh, stuff like this. And it's not true, okay? It's absolutely not true. First of all, I really don't, I mean, I did not use any of uh, boring machines and stuff like this. I did just buy the chisels and the gouges and the veiners. And uh, there is uh, still a lot of people who are able uh, to do that stuff. And uh, it's, uh, it's, this stage is not done yet. This stage is not done yet. But uh, once it's going to be done, I believe it's going to be gorgeous. Uh, for example, I still have to add uh, uh, in this area right here uh, a shell. So uh, if you look uh, um, on this side, there is a shell development, although there's a, a lot of uh, chunks of, uh, you know, chips. And those chips is actually proof everything is done by hand uh, with chisels and gouges. But, uh, you know, the same idea what I have right here on that shell is going to be developed all over. In this case, it's going to be one of the spots It's going to be right here. So that's going to be also shell. And I'm going to work today probably on my school site. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I develop it. But also how I develop the, this area, you know, those shells. Uh, it's also right there. How I develop uh, my head of a canvas. It's also right there. Uh, so please feel free. Check it out. Uh, if, if you don't like it, I mean, uh, no hard feeling. Although... Most of the people who actually joined my school, they're still there. Uh, that is good. And I have hundreds of people, hundreds of people. Let me check the last question. And I'm going to... People on Instagram, thank you very much. You're saying hello, hello to you too. And uh, thank you for saying uh, that I'm doing a great job. Thank you for the thumbs up. So that is great. Okay. Uh, well someone from facebook and uh, it's uh, arabic well i don't know if it's arabic or persian because it's still uh, you know looks the same to me but the uh, arabic script but uh, anyway if you're saying something good that is good thank you very much but uh, try to translate there's a google translate that would help if you do have a question you're welcome to ask me also but anyway, there's going to be a, some shell movement. There's going to be a movement and it's going to just flow all together. Okay. There's going to be some flowers uh, carved in. There's uh, some areas going to be some flowers that is going to be all developed and it's going to go on the ceiling like this. So it should be really good. All right. Thank you, wonderful people. I'm going to uh, end today's stream. Uh, if, uh, if you like those streams, please uh, don't forget to subscribe it. Okay. So uh, like it, okay? Don't forget to like it, subscribe it, and hit that bell, a notification bell. I, I really do appreciate everyone who joined today. And uh, I'm going to uh, introduce myself again. My name is Alexander, 
Rabovetsky. I'm a wood carver and I'm carving pretty much every day. Thank you very much and uh, have a wonderful day. Okay, let me show you one more time and I'm gonna turn off. And I'm gonna turn off my live stream.